Hello YouTube land. Let's take a nice quick tour into Adobe Illustrator 2023. Just a quick little look at a couple of their menus up here. It really is a very large program. There's so much you can do. This is the file menu. Anything grayed out is what you cannot use right now. These will be available after a file is open. Uh, edit menu. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, there's so much that you can do. And it would take a while to practice studying all of these menus and settings. I don't know all of them myself. It really would take quite a an extensive amount of time but you can always do research on everything if you have the time and are able and you can find out a whole lot about all of these menus Alright, now we're going to skip help because it has private information in help, which I want to try. I, I wish they would not have that in there. But um, in the help menu, there is a, one of the options says about, and the about sh will show the version that you're on. So what we're going to do, uh, when you have this, first I want to show you when you have this right here, when you first open it, and you click on learn this is highlighted so this is where we are in the program click on learn you have all these lessons here now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to explore shapes opens an app seven minutes so let's see what this is and this is what I'm going to do today so if I open that up and then start tutorial and there it is a manual tutorial okay now this is the work area the screen that you see everything inside of okay and what we're going to do now is just take a look a around a little bit up here in the top you'll see a black box around this particular icon which is a pointer if I click here the black box moves over the other items that's another pointer there magic wand magic wand tool these are all icons that represent tools and when I click on it it'll have a box go around it and that way you know which tool is selected when you see the little arrow next to the tool you can right click on that arrow when you after you highlight the box or right click right on it it'll highlight uh, the tool and then it'll open the side menu at the same time and it looks like what is this here let's see oops look at that make you can make it into small icons or click right here there we go because make it even into smaller icon um, there we go click on this arrow well, there's so many choices. I like these. How do I get back to the other menu? Uh, oops. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. Please use the add anchor point tool on a segment of a path. And so there you go. It'll tell you where to use it. 
And that's how I learn too, is I just start clicking around. No problem with that. I've been doing that for over 30 years. That's how I learned everything. Okay. Never be afraid to check things out. You're not going to break it. Okay, so let's go to the lesson. Begin by creating the rectangular shapes for the birdhouse using the dashed lines as guidance. Select the, rank, rect, select the rectangular tool. And it has a question mark here. It says show location. So if you don't know like which tool that is, you can click this question mark and it will show you. It's right in there. It has a little side menu. Right now, the elliptical tool is the default one that's available. So you click on the side menu. You can right or left click. Click on the rectangular tool. Right? And then click on the rectangle, the dotted lines. This is a template right now. So we're going to align here, if I can get my hand to slow down, there we go. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, there you go. So I selected the rectangle, drag over the red dashed lines to make a rectangle that will become a bird perch. Drag over the green dashed lines shape to make the roof of the birdhouse. Okay, so... Okay, we're still here. Oop. Rectangle. Oops! No! No, no, no. Let's see. Alright. Select the rectangle. I did. Okay. Now, we're going to leave that there, and we're going to go to this one. There we go. That's what I was trying to do right here. If I could line it up. Okay. All right. So now I got that one, that one. Drag over the green dotted line to draw a perfect square. Press the shift key, which is true. So if you want a perfect circle or square. So what you do is... Oh, see, I already got that. There we go. Ah! See, now I got to get... I'm going to click on it again. No. Okay. Here we go. Come on. go. <laughs> Alright, so click on shift and we get a perfect square. No matter how small it is, it's going to be a perfect square when you have the shift key down. Whoops, I made it a little small. Ooh. So all I have to do, make sure it's straight up and down come down like that. The little side arrow like this, the little tiny curve arrow is going to make it move. If I cl right click or left click and hold and go like that, it moves around. Rotates. It'll tell you what degrees it's rotating. Right there. Okay, so now we're going to go to next. Now we're going to select the zoom tool and click in the area of the smallest circle to enlarge your view. Now I'm going to move this over. Okay, and then, oh dear, where is the zoom tool? Click. Oh, it's right there. 
Select the zoom tool, click in the area of the smallest rectangle. Okay. Then select, then the selection tool says, oh, then the selection tool and click, select the, <laughs> oh my goodness, select the selection tool and click on the smallest rectangle. Okay, here we go again. Ugh. I do apologize. I have not been receiving much sleep. I have ordered a cot bed to try to help me get some sleep. So I apologize, but uh, it'll be all right. Okay, so we have the selection tool. Whoop, no, we don't. Try again, there we go. All right, that's way up on the top. Okay, now where do I want to put it? Oh. Well, I don't have that. Okay. You can also, if I have this in here like this, hit spacebar, and I have the hand. See? I need to move that over. Right? Well, it's selected. Okay. Um, drag any one of the corners. See that little arc? Let's go on this side. Come on, there we go. Just like that. Towards the center. Okay. And then when you see the corners like that, let go. From the menu above, choose View, Fit, Artboard to Window. View, Fit, Artboard to Window, which is Control O. Well, it looks like we did all those steps. Let's go to next. Ah, shapes are made of anchor points and paths. Now you'll use the direct selection tool to move a point to, to move a point to reshape the roof. Okay. And let's see. Um, move this over, right there. So, select the direct selection tool. And that one will be the second one down. Right? Click inside the skinny long rectangle to select it. Click the blue boxes you see on the corners are called anchor points. Yep, all these little boxes on the corner, they're called anchor points. They control the shape. Click the blue point on the upper right of the rectangle to select it. And then drag it up. So, say this one. No, 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 not the whole thing. Ah! Hmm. Click the blue point on the upper right of the rectangle. Unless it's this one. Oh, maybe it's this one. No. Ah. 
click and let go. Okay, click on it once with the right click and then let go and then click on it again and then hang on to it. Leave the right click or the left click button down when you click on it a second time in order to drag it. So click the blue point on the upper right. Upper right of the rectangle to select it. Okay, I did that. Release the mouse button. Alright. Look at the rectangle box. Uh, drag the blue point to reshape the roof under the dash gray one. Um. Alright, so we did that with a couple of shapes. I am going to go ahead and end this because it's only it's 16 minutes. If you're still awake, thank you very much. <laughs> I know, these videos are not like fantastic. They'll get better. Okay, thank you for watching. We'll do more in a little bit on the next set. Bye. Have a great day. Please subscribe and share and comment and click the like button if you like to be supportive. Thank you. Bye.